We're back. It's 852 time for our ongoing series with the NFL. Together we make football. This is such a great story. It takes us back to World War II and eight high school teammates from a little town in South Texas who finished their season, graduated school early, then enlisted together in the Marines. Two, four, six, eight. They're all there. Harlan is this one by me. In 1943, eight teammates from tiny Westlaco, Texas joined the Marines and were shipped off to separate units in the Pacific. While on leave, Doc Kleckler's chance encounter with his best friend Harlan Block led to a promise. He said, hey, would you do me a favor? And he said, I want you to give this ring to my mother. He said, I may not be coming back. Harlan Block is the Marine kneeling in front as the stars and stripes are raised over Iwo Jima in 1945. Six days after the iconic photo was taken, he was killed in action. The memorial in Arlington is not our country's only Iwo Jima monument. The original is here, on the campus of the Marine Military Academy, next to the little town in South Texas where Doc and Harlan played football. When the young men are on that football field, they can see that monument, and it represents to them the courage they should exhibit, the leadership, the example that they need to set for others. We are we are it's a reminder to us as football players and as cadets in the academy of what great things we're capable of. When he returned from the war, Doc intended to keep his promise to Harlan. His mother was my second mother. She kind of didn't want to talk to me. She said, I do not want to be reminded. You better keep it. Harlan was the only one of our group that got killed in that business. Doc wore that ring every day to keep Harlan's memory alive. In 2010, he donated it to the Academy as a reminder that valor counts and friendship never dies. It's just amazing the bond that two people can have. A football team is a brotherhood. This ring kind of symbolizes that too. They went through the Friday night lights and further on into the war. Of the eight football players who enlisted together, Doc is the last survivor. He was a high school principal. He's still married to his college sweetheart, and he stayed in South Texas his entire life, never far from where his best friend rests, in the shadow of the great monument. Harlan was my buddy. Don't 